Good day everyone. Today, I will be discussing how are you going to solve equations that involves radical expressions. In solving radical equations, you have to follow the following step. We have number one, you are going to write the equation such that the radical containing the unknown is on one side of the equation. Then second, you need to combine similar terms before solving the given equation. Third, you are going to raise both sides of the equation to a power same as the index of the radical. The equation should be free of radical to complete the solution. And then lastly, we can check if the value or the values that we obtain will make the original equation true. Now let us start with a simple radical equation. In here, you are going to solve for the value of x if the equation is square root of x is equal to 7. Again, we are looking for the value of x that will make the equation square root of x equals 7 true. Since the expression that contains the unknown is already on one side of the equation and nothing here is to be simplified, then we can still or we can already proceed with step number 3. In step number 3, we need the equation to be free of the radical so that we can complete the solution. And how are we going to do that? We need to raise both sides of the equation to the power same as the index of the radical. In our given equation, square root of x equals to 7, you all know that our index here is 2. So meaning to say, you are going to raise both sides of the equation by 2. It means that you are going to square both sides. And if you do that, what will happen? Yes, it will become x equals 49. What happened on this side? Using law of radicals number 1, we can cancel this out. So the remaining is x. And then as you all know, 7 squared is 49. This means that the value of x is 49. Now let us check if x equals 49 is correct. The original equation is square root of x equals 7. So we are going to substitute the value of x, which is 49. So we have here square root of 49, which is actually equal to 7. So 7 equals 7. The two sides of the equation are equal. Then our answer x equals 49 is correct. And then for number 2, you are going to solve the value of a in cube root of a is equal to 10. Again, the expression containing the unknown is on one side of the equation and nothing is to simplify here. So we can proceed with step number 3 wherein we are going to raise both sides equal to the index. As you can see here, our index is 3. That is why we need to raise both sides of the equation by 3. We are going to do that so that this will be free of radical sign. So it will become a and then 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10. So the value of a is 1000. And to check, you are just going to substitute the value of a in our original equation. And then a is 1,000 and the cube root of 1,000 is 10. So we have here 10 equals 10. This validate that our a, 1,000, is actually correct. For example, number 3, we have square root of 2x is equal to 4. We can again proceed by squaring both sides since the index is 2. So we have the square root of 2x raised to the second power and we have 4 squared. You are going to cancel this out. So magkakaroon ng 2x and then 4 squared is equal to 16. To simplify the resulting equation, you need to divide both sides by 2. If you do that, then the answer is actually 8. So x is equal to 8. Let us check if it is correct using the original equation again, wherein the value of x is 8. So we have 2 times 8 is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. We have here 4 equals 4, which tells us that x equals 8 is correct. For example, number 4, let us see. We have here cube root of x minus 6 equals 3. It is the same of our first three examples. We can already eliminate the radical sign by 
by raising both sides of the equation equal to the index. Our index is 3, so meaning to say we are going to raise both sides of the equation by 3. If you do that again, this will be cancelled out. So, ang matitira dyan is x minus 6. Then, you are going to get the value of 3 cubed. That is why we will be having x minus 6 equals 27. Yes, you are going to use here addition property of equality. Then, we will be having x is equal to 33. This is the value of x. Let us check if it is correct. We will be using again the original equation from here. The value of the given x is 33. So we have here 33 minus 6 which is equivalent to 27. And the cube root of 27 is 3. So we are again correct. We have 3 equals 3. 33 here is correct. I hope everyone can follow. Let us consider the next example, example number 5. We have here the square root of x plus 3 minus 1 equals 4. Let us proceed with step number 2. We are going to simplify yung ating common or similar terms. In here, if you are going to notice, we have here a constant and a constant here. It means we are going to write it on the same side of the equation and of course we need to simplify that is why we have here square root of x plus 3 equals 4 we use addition property of equality so magkakaroon ng 3 plus 3, 1 plus 3 so that's why we have here 4 we are now ready to do step number 3 we need to square both sides since our index is 2 so we are going to square Again, cancelled out, matitra is x plus 3, then simplify 4 squared, so we will be having x plus 3 equals 16. We are going to use APE again to simplify the resulting equation, and if we simplify, then x is equal to 13. We will be having 16 minus 3 there. You are going to add negative 3 here, and then add negative 3 here, that is why we have x equals 13. And this is our answer. Again, by checking, we are going to use the original. You are going to substitute the value of x, which is 13. So we have 13 plus 3, that is 16. The square root of 16 is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. Two sides of the equation are equal, so x equals 13 is correct. For our last example, you are going to solve the equation 4 plus the square root of x minus 2 equals x. What are you going to do first? Yes, you are going to combine this 4 and x on the other side. So we will be having x, the square root of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 4. And then we are going to square both sides since our index is 2. That's why we have the square root of x minus minus 2 squared and the quantity x minus 4 squared following the rule of the square of binomial then we will be having x minus 2 equals x squared minus 8x plus 16 we have to simplify the resulting it will become x squared minus 9x plus 18 equals 0 paano nangyari yan we have here x squared minus we have 8x galing dito and then using APE, x there will become minus x and then galing dito, we have plus 16 and this one, negative 2, using APE, we are going to add 2 here. So we have x squared and then negative 8x and then negative x, that is equivalent to negative 9x and also 16 plus 2, that will give us 18. I hope it is clear. Kung paano natin nakuha yung x squared minus 9x plus 18. Now, what have you noticed with the resulting equation? Yes, the equation is a quadratic equation. So, we need to solve this quadratic equation. To solve quadratic equation, you can use factoring, completing the square, extracting the square root, or the use of the quadratic formula. But since this one is factorable, the correct factors are we have x minus 6 and x minus 3. After writing the factors, what property you are going to use? Yes, you are going to use zero product property. So you will be having x minus 6 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. From here, what are the possible values of x? 
Yes, the possible values of x are 6 and 3. So we have two possible values of x here. Now let us check each value. Tingnan natin if it will make the original equation true. We will be checking both 6 and 3 sa ating original equation. For x, if x is equal to 6, then this is the original equation. x is equal to 6, so we have 6 minus 2, that is 4. The square root of 4 is 2, and 4 plus 2 is 6. Both sides of the equation are equal. Ibig sabihin, x equals 6 is correct. How about x is equal to 3? If x is equal to 3, you are going to substitute 3 here. So you have 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is actually 1. And then the square root of 1 is, of course, 1. And then 4 plus 1 is actually 5. So 5 is not equal to 3. Meaning to say, yung 3 will not satisfy our original equation. Hindi niya ginawang true ang ating equation dito. So, 3 is actually an extraneous root. Kasi, hindi niya na-satisfy ang ating original equation. So, kahit we arrive with two values of x, but after checking, isa lang ang ating solution. At ang solution natin, the solution to the radical equation 4 plus square root of x minus 2 is equal to x is actually only 6. I hope you understand. You need to remember the following steps. You need to write the equation in one side. You need to combine the similar terms. Then you need to raise both sides, same as the power of the index. And then, of course, if there are one or more values of x, you need to check each value if it will make the original equation true. That is how are you going to solve equation that contains radical that's it for today. Thank you for watching.